Ooh. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Nabila. Hi, Latifa. Hi, Faiza. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Izati. Hi, Karuna. Hi, Athira. Okay, before we begin, um, please make sure that you have signed your attendance on UFuture as well as on Google Drive. So that in case anything happens, we will have backup. Okay. Okay or no? Okay, okay or no? Okay, okay or no? Okay, okay. How come only 11 people? Where's everybody else? So quiet in here. Click, click, click. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, the rest of you. What do you Hi, Fifi. Hello. Oh my God. How many people in this class by right we should have you? Yeah, how many? Yeah. now okay let's just wait for your friends while i check how many people we are supposed to have in this class are supposed to have 26 okay we are supposed to have 26 there's now 20 people so i think we start okay everybody hi 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 welcome to my youtube channel gitu okay so now is week four right you guys are aware of that so you will have your first no your test in week nine and in week eight you will start writing your written article analysis okay so we're going to prepare for your test and for the written article analysis so now is week four so you've got about four weeks to go um what we're going to do, 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 do. <laughs> what we're going to do today is no art we're going to do two things First, we're going to, I'm going to talk about all the topics that you have covered. I'm just going to go like sekali lalu. And secondly, I will, you know, we will discuss and try to come up with your forum topics. Okay? So, two things. First, have you watched your friend's videos on Instagram? Please, I'll be honest. Have you guys watched your friend's videos? Have you? Not yet? Uh, not yet. Oh, it's okay. We're good. We're, we're, we're not yet. Well, we're. Aduh. 
Christian, your friends have done a great job. No, I cannot access the ideas. Some of us, some of us only. Ha, <laughs> Nazim so eclipse. Okay, now your friends they have done a great job. I think I feel a great job in explaining all the topics, and they've done it in a very detailed expert. Because I do limit the account holder. Yeah, I the account holder. You can you can watch your friends' videos tanpa perlu access the account. You just log into your account and you follow the class from your account. And you can watch the videos. Hello, I can this old lady not teach how to use IG come on people. Makcik also can watch the IG using Makcik punya own uh, in Apple account. So this is my account. I'm logged in to my account. I cannot see lah. This is my account, my face. So then I go to search, search. You know, search this one. And then I tang search too. Ha! Search and you just type your class ID, and then you don't need to have the password. All you have to do is you can just um and can do So um, why you can open the IG? Are you can I go? I also can open. Why you cannot? And this is not even my account. This is right. Like, and this is not even the class when account. This is like using my personal account. Okay, so you have no excuse. Because I will not IG class on private or not. On private. The class IG is on private, so you need to approve. Okay? Clear? My IG very dangerous, cannot follow. <laughs> I don't know like whatever you people. But whatever it is, I personally, I'm just going to go sekali jalan. Okay, I'm not going to aja in detail because your friends have done a very good job in explaining. So if you tak faham, you cannot ask me. Ha, I don't want to answer. If you tak faham, you must watch your friends' videos. Sebab korang tak tengok kan? Mesti alasan. Eee, cannot open IG lah. Ha, cannot apa? Hmm, cannot follow lah benda lah. I don't want. <laughs> so if you have questions, don't ask me. Watch the videos. Tengah marah. Okay. <laughs> right, let's move on. Tadi je kena gone off sikit. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about Hamimi's group. Hamimi did confirm the meaning of words. Interpret the meaning of words. Okay, did you do that? Okay. Um... They have done a really great job in understanding the meaning of a word. There are two ways that they have shown. The first way is by using the dictionary. When you use a dictionary, okay, no, no, in a text, in a, in, in a, in a text lab, basically. Let's say there's a word that you don't understand. And then you book out dictionary and in the dictionary, there are like five entries of the meaning of the words ataupun um, the, a word that can be used to replace the word that you don't understand so that you understand. Okay, you cannot just sembrono, choose whatever. In the test nanti kan, they say um, like uh, choose uh, a word to replace this word as it is used in the passage. You cannot just simply choose whatever word that your heart likes and desires. So you have to find a word that is closest to the meaning of how the word yang ditanya tu is used in the passage. So you can't just sembrono, right? You know what sembrono, right? Mm. Okay, next. What if you don't have a dictionary? Well, they've taught you, your friends have given you a very detailed explanation on how you can understand or interpret or guess the meaning of a word through context in case of the dictionary. So... Watch that video. Second, they talk about identifying the topic of a paragraph. Now, when you talk about a topic of a paragraph, it, the topic of a paragraph basically is sort of like the main idea of a paragraph. So, in a paragraph or in a passage or in an article, okay, you can have two main ideas. Bukan you can have two. There are two ways to find the main idea. So the first way is the stated main idea and the second way is the implied main idea. A stated main idea is a main idea that you can see, you nampak, it's there kat situ. 
for example, the paragraph cakap, next, um, the um, next, eating diet pills can cause kidney failure. So clear, terang kat situ, that is the stated main idea you nampak, okay? Now sometimes, a paragraph or a passage or whatever, you really, you can't really, no, it's not stated clearly what is the main idea. So what you have to do is you have to baca that paragraph, let's take a paragraph, baca that paragraph, try to understand what is the main idea of that paragraph and you formulate the, uh, the, the main idea in your own words based on your understanding. That is called implied main idea, making your own uh, 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 like writing it in your own words. Okay? Itulah ceritanya. So clear about the main idea? If not clear, okay, um, go to your friend's videos. Okay. If no question, okay, if you have a question, you can always ask in the chat section. But if you have no more questions, please type, type Mocha so I can move on. Type Mocha in the chat section so I can move on. Mocha, 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 Mocha. <laughs> Hi, Fahana. <laughs> Hi, Narusli. Aduh. Coco, Choco Mocha. Eh, hey, have you tried, um, have you tried the Starbucks, um, Pumpkin latte? Have you tried the pumpkin latte? The taste is a bit macam... <laughs> I think it's good when I had a sip. Hey, but it's quite good. But it's like, it's good. Ah, like that. Have you tried? You should go try. But it's like, oh, it's good. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we are moving on to Kairuna's group. Okay, they talked about major minor supporting detail. And they talked about the types of the... You try it, Faiza? How's it? Did you like it? Did you like it, Faiza? I mean, it's okay for me, but like... It, it, it was a bit of a shock to my palate. Taste palate. My mouth. Just, oh, you do? You love it? Oh. Okay. I like chai latte better. If it's not a serious coffee, like I like chai latte. Good. You try chai latte. Okay. <laughs> no, right. Okay. Now let's talk about major and minor supporting detail and types of supporting detail. Uh, Karuna's group presented on this. There are many types of supporting details. We've got facts and op facts la, opinions, statistics, um, research finding, expert opinion, testimony, law, blah blah blah. So many. You can Google it up or you can just watch the videos. What's the supporting detail? Okay, supporting detail adalah the details, the cerita, the things, the statements, the ayat, 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 the sentences that support an argument or a statement or a sentence or a point of view. For example, do you want to use this again? Huh. Okay, eh, double chin. <laughs> For example, the argu argument, the fuck, bukan the fakta. The sentence is, the main idea lah, the main idea. The main idea is, Miss Salina, me, is the most beautiful lecturer in UITM. Siapa berani lawan? Tak berani kan? Ha, 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 ha. Okay. So that's the um, uh, statement, okay? Or the, the, the sentence or the main idea. Now, major and minor supporting details would be the details in support the story, the statement, the state, state, that support the, the penyataan tersebut. Okay, so for example, let's take one type of supporting detail, which is research finding. Okay, so I know, tanah lah, tanah lah. I'm going to take statistics because that's easier. So according to a survey done by VA 2362B students, um, they have conducted a survey, um, and according to the survey, 99% um, of UITM students um, in the whole of UITM, from UITM Selangor to UITM Sarawak, to UITM Sabah, to UITM Kedah and all that, every single UITM student, the 99% of UITM students agree that Miss Salina is the most beautiful lecturer in the whole UITM. Okay, so that is a major supporting detail. Okay, that is a major 
supporting detail. It's a supporting detail yang terang-terang support. Miss Aina is most beautiful in the world. Okay. Now, but the JC take about the survey was done um two weeks ago. It was sent out to 100 students. It was done to Google form. It was done during the semester break. Blah 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 blah. All those cerita 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 tu adalah minor supporting details. So this minor supporting details they support the major supporting detail and this major supporting detail they support the statement. Okay? Clear? Okay, that would be um, statistics. Now, we can have an expert opinion. Let's take Shah al Yahya. Okay? So, Shah, um, another reason is that um, even Shah al Yahya, the, one of the judges on Hero Maja and a former Dewi Ramaja uh, winner, um, um, feels feels that um, the, um, Miss Aina is the most beautiful lecturer because the first time she the first time Shia Al Yahya met Miss Aina she uh, was uh, blown away by her beauty. Begitu. Okay. All right. So that is the second major supporting detail. Tidak terang lah. Um, Shia Al Yahya went to UITM that day so that there was an interview and then Miss Aina was walking in UITM and they bumped into each other and then Shia Al Yahya said, "Eh, she's so pretty." So then she the 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 point yang Syed Ahaya thinking that I'm so beautiful though. Okay? So, kecil-kecil-kecil-kecil-kecil-kecil-kecil cerita support major supporting detail. Major supporting detail support the main idea. So, clear? Gelap besar ni ni. Hater. Cantik kan? Tu hater-hater tu dia ni hater pertama. Okay. So, if you want to know more and in detail about the types of supporting detail, please watch your friends' videos. Next, I'm going to talk about, ah, uh, yang um, Hannah's group. First of all, Hannah's group, their video is just so funny. Apa, Fifi? Fifi tu tinggal trade, apa, mokanya? <laughs> okay. Hannah's group, I like their video because they orang guna Among Us. So funny. Ayah, 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 so funny, so funny, so funny. <laughs> okay, so they talked about um, inductive versus deductive, assumptions and facts versus opinion. So I'm going I'm to go one by one. I'm going to go dengan a lot of effort. Yes, banyak effort. Since editing super, hmm, I cannot do. Sorry, Miss Aina. Ya Allah, don't mean <laughs> No lah, I'm not mad. I jarang lah mad. Hmm, nanti cepat tua. I'm do. Okay, so inductive versus deductive. This one pun kakak. I think I was just so terhibu with the whole group. Nazim, <laughs> he was explaining inductive versus deductive. Uh, inductive, he was doing inductive. Was it inductive? Nazim inductive and Nazim. But anyways, yang kakak is that every time he explain, Inductive reasoning is easier. Okay, I know it sounds complicated. And then he explained. Okay, I know it sounds complicated. And then he said, okay, I know it sounds complicated. Dia macam. Okay, sekarang ni complicated. Ayo, ayo. So funny lah, Nazim. I can't know lah. Okay. So, inductive reasoning. Macam I was laughing when I was watching your video, Nazim. Okay. Inductive reasoning. Dia punya kawan is deductive reasoning. Okay. Eh? I'm gonna draw. What is this? Eh? Where is my pins? Ah, okay. Basically, there's a diagram for inductive reasoning versus deductive reasoning. It's always drawn in the shape of a. This is what I will use to represent inductive versus deductive reasoning. I know it's complicated. I know it's complicated. <laughs> okay. Now, deductive reasoning. D. Deductive. D. D. The letter D for down. Down meaning triangle yang terbalik. Triangle kan is generally shaped like this. This is the general shape of a triangle. Deductive reasoning is D terbalik. Like this. 
this would be deductive reasoning. D, down. D for down. Why? This would be the statement, the conclusion. The specific conclusion. And this would be the general statement. So, whatever lah general statement they're making, whatever, whatever general statement they're making. Ayat terakhir of that would be the specific statement. And this would be called deductive reasoning. Nanti you will see clearly when we do exercises. But if you want to know more, you can always watch the video. Okay, that's deductive. D for down. Next, we have inductive. So, obviously, because deductive is terbalik. So, inductive is this way. Yeah. Okay. Inductive reasoning. This is inductive. It's the normal triangle. Meaning that the paragraph will begin with something that is specific. A specific statement, a specific conclusion, a specific whatever. And they can the ending with something that is general. Okay, so something that is very specific. And then ending with something that is very general. This is called inductive. Deductive again, as I said, D for down. D for down. So it will start with something general. It will end with something specific. Okay? So I know you're confused because you tak pernah nampak lagi. But if you want to see um, how and what it is, go watch your friends' videos. It was done by Hana's group, specifically by Nazim and Adam. Is Adam? Nazim and? Ah, idham. Nazim and idham. Okay. Clear about inductive deductive? If you are clear, type sorry. Now we'll move on. Okay, have any questions? You can ask. Yeah, put double chin. If you are clear, you type double chin and move on. The induction would end by the general. The induction. The induction would end by the general in conclusion. The induction would end with the general as conclusion. Yes. Start with specific and with general. Inductive, yes. Duck stuff, duck stuff. Quack, quack. Okay, if you are clear, type double chin. I'm gonna move on. Moving on, moving on. Oh, orange pun okay lah. Double chin, orange clear. Okay, I'm gonna move on dengan the last group, which is Izati. Okay, so Izati's group, they did emphasis, inferences versus conclusions. And they did arguments, how to analyze and evaluate the argument, an argument. And they did author's tone, purpose, intended audience, bias, etc, etc. For the etc, you're going to have to watch the videos. I'm just going to go with whatever I want. First, let's talk about an author's tone. When you read an article, kind, when you read something, lah, kind, you can actually guess the author's tone. The author's tone can be banya. It can be... Um, sarcastic, she, the author can be humorous or she can be serious or uh, the, the tone is very persuasive. There are so many tones. You just have to figure out what the, how the author makes you feel. Okay? The tone. And then the punya purpose. What is the purpose of the writer writing? Are they trying to tell you something or are they trying to persuade you to do something or are they trying to change your belief, make you believe in something or show you the the dangers of something, okay? So, you you can guess that when you read, okay? Next is the intended audience. Now, when you read something, just by looking at the title without going into the content yet, just by looking at the title, you can sort of already guess 
who is the intended audience. I'm going to use an example that I used earlier. Okay. For example, this one. Who do you think is the intended audience of this particular author? Communication in cognitive behavioral therapy. In your opinion, who do you think is the intended audience for this book? Dugu, dugu, dugu. We generally funny miss. Oh, oh yeah, it's been funny. Nice. Nice. Communication students? No, not communication students. Nope. Linguistic students? No. Tasa students? No. Well, I mean, they don't want to they want to. But the main intended audience, lecture. Okay, okay. Lecture is sharahan. Lecture is pensara. Therapist, yes. Therapist, okay. Therapist, yes. Lecturers pun boleh, but yes. Therapist, medical officers, MESCOM students, no. Fahana and Nabila, yes. Therapist, medical officers, correct. Who else? MESCOM students, no, yeah. That's so students. Psychologists, yes. Lagi, kalau, he, kalau students, well, students from what faculty? Students yang studying what? That's all known as him. Medicine, um, okay, can. Yes, but students who are studying psychology, students, yes, yes, psychology, correct. Other faculties can reach you, why not? Medicine can, 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 depends, but then... It's the intended audience would be psychologists. Okay, students are doing psychology or medical offices or therapists. Correct. Okay, not that student. I think you guys got confused because of the communication. This has to be Okay, next. Just by reading the title, who do you think is the intended audience? Attachment and sexual offending. Who do you think is the intended audience? Law, yeah, law students, correcto mundo. Okay. Lawyers, lawyers, yeah. Law students, even psychology students, okay, pun boleh. But again, any macam pachi adik tigi, bapak tigi, mak angkat, mak kandung adik kandung, all saudara sepupu sepapai. Anybody can read, okay, but the intended audience is at, um, law students, psychology students, lawyers, uh, you know, people like that, okay? Yeah. That's the meaning of intended students, okay? Uh, I have like that. Ah, I have, wait. Okay, all right, just by looking at this, who do you think is the intended audience? This is like one, it's an old book, as you can see, it's one of my favorite authors. Who do you think is the intended audience? Where you guys? Where you guys? Where you guys? Who do you think is intended audience? Children? No, no idea. Nazim children, children, children. Correct, Fahana. Teenagers, teenagers can, but specifically, it's a little bit about children. Okay. Me, Fifi. <laughs> yes, and me too, Fifi. Me too. This is more specifically about the students because. It's a student, like children. Okay? Now, same writer, but what could you imagine? 
Okay, now, who do you think, this one pula dia punya intended audience. Tadi was macam budak-budak, children, you know, young teenagers kat sekolah macam tu. So, what this one? Yes, adults ataupun teenagers who are older because it's it looks more serious. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yay, fun guy. And I'm not, I am, I. It's gonna keep this good job. Second. Okay, done. Clear? Clear, kind. Easy, again. Okay. Next is, um... Eh, I don't want to cheat too for seven. Uh oh, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna talk about facts versus opinion. Ini pun dibuat oleh group Hana and assumptions. Okay, facts versus opinion. Fact is easy. Fact is macam when you see numbers, when you see um like research finding and all that. Opinion is when you see words to show opinion, like feel, believe, think. Okay, things like that. They have explained, I'm just going to go straight roughly. And then assumption pula is making an assumption. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But if you don't know more in detail, just watch the videos. Okay, next is, um, I'm going to go back to Izati's group arguments, analyzing and evaluating. Still on author. Okay, now let's talk about author's biasness. Whether the author is objective or biased. Okay, let's say for example, the author is a girl, Siti Amina. She's writing an article and the tajo is men are the most complicated human being on earth. That's the tajo. Men are the most complicated human beings on earth. And the writer is a girl, Siti Amina. So, just by looking at the title, you can already see that she is, her article is going to be on the bias punya side. Because terang-terang dah you can see. Hmm, macam tu. Right? Okay. Now, going to arguments. Now, when you're analyzing and evaluating argument, you you will have to talk about its strengths and its, its weaknesses. Contoh, the argument made by, um, tadi kan, I can say the tajo is, men are the most compl complicated human beings on earth. Okay, one of the arguments is, this is because men love to give mixed signals when they like somebody. That is the punya argument. Okay? Can, can, right, can. Men so complicated. When they like somebody, they give me a signal. You, you like or you don't like? Easy, easy, let me squeeze you. Don't like, hi, hi. No, no. Hmm. Okay. So, you have to analyze her arguments. So, she will give you supporting details. Like, she gives like an example of this story, an example of that story. And then you have to and write me. Right, find out. Got it, got it. Oh. <laughs> So, you have to analyze and evaluate whether her supporting details nanti to support the truth. Oh, so many girls are agreeing with me. <laughs> okay. You're going to say, her, this argument is strong, give headache only. <laughs> okay. This argument is strong because supported by facts, statistics, research finding, da 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 da. Okay. And then some people will say, oh, no, it's weak because it's only her opinion, not supported by anything. Um, the research she used is outdated because now it's 2020, but the research was done in 1920, for example. So you have to argue why you think it's strong and why you think it's not strong, okay? And Izati's group have done this. You can always watch the video. I'm with you. Yes, yeah, with me. When you say girls are complicated, boys are complicated. Right, like, last but not least, I'm going to go with inferences and conclusion. Okay. They're actually both very similar. So confusing one. Uncle Lauder find it confusing when he eats lie lies. Okay. So, it's going to go inference versus conclusion. Okay. Yep. And inference is usually made from facts. You think of facts and you brought inference to berdasarkan fact. That is why when you do science dekat sekolah, if you remember, you have to make inference. You bukan buat kesimpulan. When you can, during science, you remember not? In school, you have a buku science panjang-panjang tu. 
she did experiment and, and then you have to make inference kan you tak make conclusion right you make inference because inference is based on evidence and facts okay conclusion on the other hand is something that is made based on macam knowledge based on what you feel what you think what could have might have kind of would have macam tu that's a conclusion is always made bila when we make a story when we make a i don't know create our own drama <laughs> but yes that's the difference between conclusion and inference inference is more fact based um based on whatever you can see because remember science kita buat science is always making inference bukan conclusion okay i think i'm done So that's it. We have covered everything that 501 should cover. Alhamdulillah. So if you want to know in detail how to make inference, how to make conclusion on, and all that, you can always watch your friends' videos. Um, They have uploaded it. I've watched it. Very clear, very detailed. Because umbrella inverted, inverted lagi. Ha. Got kapal-kapal tak tarik umbrella. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to waste your internet data anymore. So I'm going to end this live session and I'm going to see you on WhatsApp. Do you have any questions? If you don't and you're ready to move to WhatsApp, please type type pencil type pencil? Yeah, I know Rusi. So fast to read too. Okay, and with that, I will end our YouTube session. You have no more questions and I will see you in a WhatsApp group. Jangan marah tau. Kalau I marah-marah, I tak marah sebenarnya. Okay, bye. Tata, muah. Rina, so fun eh.